Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to online learning. Today we are going to learn about Flipgrid. Flipgrid is a website that allows teachers to create grids to facilitate video discussion. Flipgrid is an awesome tool for online class. Student can respond to a prompt via video and communicate with each other with short video responses and can comment on each other's video. Now how will it work? Let's start. First of all, I will show you that how to create grid and then I will also show you from students perspective as well. First of all, here you can see in your Google Chrome bar, you have to type flipgrid.com. Now this is Flipgrid dashboard. On right side, you can see over here educator sign up. So click over here, sign up with Google and then select your account. After selecting your account, now you have to make few changes over here. Your first name, your last name, you can enter whatever you want. You can enter your country and then grade age of your learner community. You can select from here the grade which you are teaching. I have selected it over here middle school and then you have to enter your date of birth, day and year. And lastly, you have to enter year as well. So I am entering over here and then let's go. Now he's saying welcome to the flip grid. Create your grid, add discussion topic, share with your students, start my grid. So I am going to start it here again. I have to enter few things. Name your grid. You can give it any name like I am giving at math class grade seven. And under it, you have to select either you want to add your students from school email id students id educator learning community so over here i am going to select school email after selecting it here is an option you can see create a flip code now now this code i can change it according to my requirement and the code which i can remember easily so i will write over here anything i want math 7 still it's showing that it's not available so I will make a bit change over here. I am writing math 7 and 2020. 20. Now it's available. So you can see now here you have to add domain of students ID. Domain mean whatever is coming after at the rate. So maybe you have students with one domain or maybe with different domains. So you have to enter over here all the domains which your students have next now my grid is ready and before copying this link i want to go to my grid to make it ready for my students now you can see math class 7 is ready but still i have to do something with it i can show you few actions over here uh, you can add a grid after uh, making it uh, add co-pilots mean you can add co-teachers with you duplicate grid if you want to make a same grid with two different sections so you can duplicate it as well uh, grid notification you can see notifications as well and there are few other options you may check those as well okay if i want to edit this grid i will click on this pencil if you want to change your grid name you can change it uh, you can change your flip code if you want to select school email student id you can change it even you can change your domain as well there are few more features as well this is the option which is important and which you can customize as well allow students to receive email notification when new topic are created if you want to give them notification as well so i am going to turn it on and you can select any picture from here i am going to select this one because i liked it and then upgrade grid now my grid is upgraded here you can see add a new topic so still i didn't add anything for my students my grid is ready but i have to add something for my students so add new topic over here i will write surface area and volume after that i have to type a question 
or any text related to that topic which I want to ask from my student. So I am over here just, just for an example. I am going to type over here. What do you know about 2D and 3D shapes? And after that recording time, this is the time. I want a 30 seconds video from my students. There are few more options which you can add over here. Okay, I have selected good luck for them. And after this, I am going to create it. Create topic. Your topic is ready. And this is the code which I am going to share it with my students. And I can copy it and I can share it with my students in their classroom or wherever I want to share. All set. Now this is what I have done from teacher's side. Next, I will show you that how students dashboard will look like. Here I, again, I will type flipgrid.com and students will enter over here, enter a flipboard. After entering code, they will enter to their flipgrid. They will select their Google account. And now you can see that students have entered their flipgrid. Here is the question. They can listen to the question by clicking over here and by clicking on this plus sign, they will record their videos and they will upload them as well. This is a recording button. They will start recording their videos and upload their messages and send them quickly. There are a few options, photo stickers, even they can apply filters as well. So I'm clicking on next, then click next. If they want to take their selfie, they will take it and again next. It will take a few seconds. Okay, now it's ready. Uh, here they can change their name, and title as well. And if they want to give link of any other video, they can add it as well. So after that, submit video. Now it's submitted and in the end they have to click on this complete button. So now I'm going back to my teacher's dashboard and I will also open and here I have to refresh my window. And after refreshing it, now you can see that here is that video which I have just from students dashboard. So you can watch it, you can open it, you can share it with your whole class. You can add comment over here. Or if you want to reply them through video, you can add and click over here and you can record your video and send them again. Even if you will share it with your class, your whole class can comment on this video. So in this way, your students will collaborate with each other. Flipgrid has some very good features. Now it's totally up to you uh, where in your lesson you are going to add it. In this way, you can elicit any of the concept. It, it supports self-assessment and reflection for students. And one very important feature that it motivates shy students to speak. And in this way, you can make sure 100% participation of your students. I hope you will use it in your upcoming lesson. Thank you so much for watching and if you like my video please click on the like button and do subscribe for more videos. Until then Allah Hafiz.